click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to the subject electromagnetic field theory we are with chapter number 12 that is guided wells up till now we have seen the electromagnetic field the wave propagation now we want the controlled flow of energy signal from one place to another place so that is possible with the help of transmission lines so in this particular chapter we are going to see the wave guide especially but before understanding the wave guide it is very much essential to how the wave guide is differentiate from the multiconductor transmission line so in the previous video we have gone through the four types of multiconductor transmission lines that are two wire transmission line coaxial cable transmission line the strip line and finally the micro strip line so this problem number 1 is based upon to the understandings of the very simple two wire transmission line so here we have this problem statement each conductor of a two wire transmission line has a radius of 0.5 mm their center to center distance is 0.8 cm let f is equal to 150 megahertz and assume sigma and sigma sub c are zero find the dielectric constant of the insulating medium if we have three parts z0 is equal to 300 ohms the part b is capacitance is given as 20 picofarad per meter and the part c that is vp is equal to 2.6 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so this problem statement is very simple here the frequency that is for the propagation that is given to us 150 megahertz mega means 10 to the power plus 6 here the dimensions of this two wire transmission line is given the cross sectional radius for both the conductors should be 0.5 mm milli standing for 10 to the power minus 3 and the distance of separation that is given 0.8 cm so 0.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 we can mention in terms of meters here now here we require the dielectric constant so if simply we uh, find epsilon r so epsilon r is nothing but uh, a part of epsilon that is epsilon r multiplied by epsilon 0 gives us the dielectric constant epsilon so we shall be determining the dielectric constant for the insulating medium that separates these two wires so first of all z0 is given to us it is characteristic impedance in the second case 20 picofarad per meter is the magnitude of capacitance per unit length of this transmission line and finally the phase velocity is 2.6 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so starting with part a so for part a we note down z is equal to 300 ohm 300 ohm therefore into the formula of z0 so this was z0 so it should be 1 upon pi under root of it will be having mu0 applicable in multiplication with epsilon in division by the epsilon 0 multiplied by epsilon r into cos h inverse d divided by twice a here so this implies the substitution of 300 here so 300 substituted 1 upon pi i keep the rhs initially as it is so mu 0 divided by epsilon 0 into epsilon r cos h inverse d upon toys a so from this particular relation we want the value of epsilon r so to determine the value of epsilon r we can get it on to the left hand side so as it was into the square root we write under root epsilon r so it is given by now 120 pi upon 300 pi cos h inverse substituting the dimensions here so it becomes 8 divided by 2 into 0.5 therefore the value of under root epsilon r will be equal to 1.107 hence the epsilon r that is relative permittivity of the medium the dielectric constant can be determined from this so it will be becoming 1.23 so this is the required value here 
with this particular value now we are covered with the first part of this problem statement so for z0 is equal to 300 ohm we have the answer for dielectric constant and that can be determined by the epsilon r value equal to 1.23 epsilon r is the uh, unitless quantity so now we concentrate our attention to the second part where we have c is equal to 20 picofarad per meter therefore we can mention uh, for part b c is equal to 20 picofarad per meter so substituting it to the formula of c we have 20 into 10 to the power minus 12 is equal to pi epsilon divided by we have cos h inverse of d upon twice a so this particular relation implies us to obtain epsilon r to the left hand side so it will be 20 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by minus 12 that we have given to the power 10 for the pico so this is divided by pi into epsilon 0 the both constant values are known to us so this becomes cos h inverse 8 by substituting the dimensions provided to us therefore the relative permittivity of the medium that will come with the value 1.99 hence i outline this particular value this becomes the answer for part b hence if you get back to the problem statement the answer for part b is now with us and it is epsilon r is equal to 1.99 so now we have the third part we have been given the phase velocity that we have representation vp so vp is given to us for part c it is equal to 2.6 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second therefore the formula for phase velocity is actually under root lc in the denominator which is nothing but in terms of permeability and permittivities becomes 1 upon under root mu 0 epsilon 0 into epsilon r hence this will be equal to c upon under root epsilon r therefore epsilon r relative permittivity we can mention the c value we substitute 3 into 10 to the power 8 so it is to be divided by this particular vp so this become 2.6 into 10 to the power 8 and it has to be squared here so epsilon r we obtain 1.33 so this is the value of relative permittivity from which the dielectric constant can be assumed hence the dielectric constant for the third case is also obtained so we have obtained the dielectric constant for the two wire transmission line if we are provided with the various values either the characteristic impedance either the capacitance per unit length or the phase velocity i hope you have understood how to obtain the dielectric constant for the medium that separates the two conducting wires in this transmission line. In the next video, we shall be selecting another multiconductor transmission line. So, next video shall be practicing for the parameters of the coaxial transmission line. For getting such more problems and the details of the subject electromagnetic field theory, you can subscribe to EKDA channel. Thank you.